right, we're checking out the only game where the best way to teach children is by being a terrible person. It's Grade Papers, Please. Grade Papers, Please is a game where you have to grade the things that psychopathic children say when asked various test questions. Like, what is this Canadian looking place here? Answer a bunch of ice. Then you must decide how good the answers are and you get eventually like rated from there. I just got done speaking with a genuine Canadian and he said the answer is A plus. From there we are <laughs> Florida, you know what? Yeah, I feel like the climate is slightly different, but you know what? A plus is all around. Everyone's getting an A plus. I like how that child walked away and he was like, God, thank you. A teacher who's more stupid than I am. The fact that she's saying that this is Japan, I mean, Japan isn't that far away. At least before the real Florida was halfway across the entire globe. Now, as you might expect, the answers get dumber and dumber as time goes on. What actually happens if I choose the right object? Oh, I get a plus one. That won't be happening very often. Draw a flower. The fact that this is a legitimate looking flower is slightly concerning. I feel like there's a hidden meaning here. All right, girl, your face looks like it was carved out of a baked potato. For that alone, you're getting an F. My test was correct. I'll sue you. Should I be going to detention for the low, low price of watching an ad? Absolutely. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Draw a cloud. My dog ate the drawing. Oh, I didn't lose my EXP streak. I also have to mention, why does my classroom look like it used to be a meth lab? You'll notice that all of the... All the glass in the back is broken as well. I feel like giving this child an F just because he didn't ask the dog what the cloud tasted like. Make a line that connects the two dots. There's two major issues here. First off, there shouldn't be any happy smiley faces in this class. Second off, you look exactly like a young Joker. He's got the color scheme and everything. For that alone, I will give you an A. Complete the phrase with a fitting word. I unicorn farting a rainbow apples. It could also be pooping a rainbow. In fact, this might not be a rainbow. It might be a waterfall or perhaps a burbling brook. Babbling brook? It's some sort of anal brook. And since anal and apples both start with an A, you get an A plus. Congratulations. What is my payment? I cannot believe that I- Is that- Oh, for a minute, I thought that girl was giving me the middle finger. I think she's just bawling her fist up in order to knock out my teeth. At $110. I can finally upgrade my classroom. You can upgrade the windows, but why would you want to? The floor I'll upgrade. Yeah, sure, the walls too. The windows are staying though. This way, if the kids ever decide they hate me, they can just break out one of the shards and stab me to death. I love that you can upgrade your students and one of them is literally epic. Come to school wearing a dinosaur head. Worth 350 bucks? Absolutely. All right, kids, now follow me for gym class. It's like calisthenics, except I'm gonna make you look really stupid. Oh, also I can apparently just rip my arm from its socket. Give me an L for lactose intolerant. Well done, children. Now faster! I said faster! You don't skip leg day on my watch. Congratulations, especially you with the freaking dinosaur helmet on. The first cells were probably lonely. <laughs> It's such a caring girl. She even made a sad face at the end. You're right, young lady. You get an A plus for that, regardless of what the school thinks you should have gotten. Protect your egg baby. No scratches, no breaks. Home economics. All right, let's see here. Young man, did you scalp Shrek and put his dismembered head on the egg? That is fantastic, A plus. All right, let's, what the hell did you do? I mean, I guess there's no breaks. Not really sure why you decided to paint it into something that would give a normal human being a seizure, but you know what, A plus. Okay, I, oh. Is this little thing in here something that decided to happen on its own or did you do this? Little chick is probably like, I'm trying to escape prison. So technically, this is a break, which means you get an F. And get the hell out. I think this was the first time in my entire life I got a perfect in this game. Find the X. It's here. How can I give this girl an F? She's right. It is here. Actually, we have two X's. All you need is a third one. This paper will get a lot better. A plus. Congratulations, young lady. What the hell is this? Oh, I have to make the, the volcano explode. So you do this. You do this first. Okay. Then you do this. Yeah. Then you do more of this. And then the volcano does its thing. What the hell? The volcano suddenly got filled with greenery and now it's vomiting out confetti. What happens if I just make you do one thing? Will you catch on fire? No, the volcano just- The volcano did exactly what it was supposed- What the hell? I still got awesome! I didn't do anything right! How about this? We'll do it all blue. Actually, how about this? Half blue, half pink. 
There. These volcanoes have very low expectations. I have no idea how I managed to get this. I feel like this school should have done a better background check. Would have seen all my felonies. <laughs> Draw a cow. I think the sad part about this is this is a fantastic spaceship. She could have taken the time to draw a legitimate cow. This isn't a cow. This is the thing that abuses cows. When a cow sees this, it has PTSD. <laughs> Get an F. Draw an object that flies. See, if you would have traded your homework with the other girl, she would have gotten an A. Right, God. Get the hell out of my class. The Mona Lisa is a famous type of food. <laughs> Disease. Right next to gonorrhea is the Mona Lisa. You know what? Why not? Welcome to the school dance. I have to make sure that the couples don't get too close. Oh, see this? Now everyone, everyone stay arm's length apart. Can't have any of you learning what it's like to have friends out here. But you think someone could understand your mental distress? Bull crap. You want to get rid of depression, you better start. Aren't asking your doctor to prescribe you some drugs. And we have China. It really, this is really concerning. The children are getting smarter and it's not my fault. I have to help you kids out here, it's an F. How about that? Who's next? What do you got for me? Europe, I mean, you're close. I'm gonna give you an A. And USA. You know what, everyone's wrong today. I wanna know what happens. Everyone fails, congratulations. <laughs> I got everything wrong and I got to see. I still got paid a hundred dollars. Why am I even bothering to do a good job? What's the common name of the composite? Hydro- Oh, Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this is better than science. Well done. Name the shape, Bob. The shape is happy. How many vowels have the word car? There was no question. So I get an A+. Plus. Ah, yes, it's the little joker. The joker lit, if you will. You're right, you do get an A+. Plus. Little joker's name is Oliver. You may have these deal with it glasses. Oh, we're back to the, uh, the protecting the egg. What the hell did you do? You turned it into a sunny side up breakfast. I mean, technically, if you were on naked and afraid, you would get an A+. Plus. I have three cookies and I ate one. How many cookies do I have left? Not enough. Not enough to get diabetes. What country owns Greenland? Blue Land. I wish I could say this is wrong, but I actually don't know who owns Greenland. So you know what? Blue Land sounds as good as anything else. This is the flag of France. France should be proud. Moving air is called wind, rain, or fart. My little jokelet, you had you had a prime opportunity and you didn't take it. What planet has rings? Saturn? Okay, very good. And what else do we have over here? Matter is pulled to the ground by gravity. Aliens. Normally I would say that you're wrong, but you're the one wearing a dinosaur on your head. So you know what? Sure. I decided this classroom needed some things. We're getting, we're buying all this. There's some planets, all that. Yeah, there's a freaking desk over there. The broken windows are staying though. I don't care what happens. I'm keeping them no matter what. Complete the plural with an S or an ES. <gasps> Bus, S or ES. <laughs> These children are smarter than they have any right being. I feel like this is because I put the damn planets over there in the background. I've given you children too much. I don't know if I can get rid of it all. All right, all right, you get an A. What is the strongest force on earth? Love. <laughs> What have you been listening to John Mayer? I have to do it. Draw a dog. Five. I'm really annoyed at this, young man. I'm not annoyed that you didn't draw a dog. I'm more annoyed that you just copped out with the number five. Other people are drawing UFOs, maybe a dead body, but instead you just answered it with a five. You fail. Now let this be a lesson to all you underage scumbags. You don't know the answer, just draw a dead body. All right, what do we got here? Calculate. A lot. What the hell? Donut! A flower! My brain hurts. Just looking at this has given me cataracts. I- I don't know what happened here. I don't think the game knows what happened here. You get an A. Name the following consonant. Billy. I noticed that you guys name everything with B names. The other one was Bob, wasn't it? Name three animals that live specifically in the Arctic. Three polar bears. Okay, now let's take a second here. This test did not say name three different animals. It did just say three animals. Little Susie, I want to let you know that I believe in your answer. And this is not red ink in this pen. It's blood. How many days are in one week? Too many. I love how it's an unhappy face and the child himself just looks unhappy. I feel like I would ask, this kid's so unhappy. I feel like I would ask him, what's your favorite food group? And he'd be like, bleach. 
Have an A plus for your sadness. Animals that eat other animals are called carnivores, herbivores, mean. <laughs> Welcome to the world of missed opportunities. Which instrument measures earthquakes? All right, everything here is pretty normal. I mean, I'm still gonna give you an F. When something is not fair, it is fairest, fair, unfair. This girl is drowning. I spent way too much time looking at this only to realize that this young girl is slowly suffocating inside of a fishbowl. You get two seconds to die. If you don't, you're getting an F. One, two, you're still alive. What the hell? We're in home economics with the egg baby. Did you think by putting Batman's head on your broken egg, I wouldn't realize that you failed as a parent. Well, you're absolutely right. Which natural hazard is caused by weather? Flooding, I saw this immediately. Farts or volcanic eruption. I feel like this depends on where you are in the world. Down here in Florida, it's so hot that people flatulate violently all the time. A plus. Where do earthquakes usually occur? Near plate boundaries, near the ocean, in space. Space! I love how happy she looks about her, her answer. She's like, did I win? No. No, young lady. You failed so badly that both of your parents are driving their car off of a bridge as we speak. Identify each body part. Hair, eye, butt. You were so close! I also appreciate that they basically ripped the head right out of Fallout. We don't need copyright. Where we're going! I've got so much money from teaching children how to be bad people. Oh, let's see here. Dora, you may have this football helmet. Elijah, you look like a top hat wearing kind of guy. Emma gets the monocle. Josh gets the dollar store glasses. All right, I think I've got almost everyone outfitted at this point. Gonna have an entire classroom of serial killers. We're here on the globe. Um, I feel like this girl had no idea what to say, so she was just like, ah, it's Wakanda. <laughs> you got a 50% chance of being right. What is the purpose of an experiment? Test a hypothesis, communicate data, explode things. Okay, look, first off, I love the glasses. Second off, if you're gonna put that as, a, as one of the choices on the test, how can a kid not choose that? <laughs> In which state? Do the particles show the most movement? New York! I kind of like this answer. If the question was in which state do particles show the most alcoholism, the answer would have been Florida. I'm not gonna lie, this is a great opportunity to do this for every place on the entire planet. In which state do the particles show the most depression? Wouldn't that be like Washington State gets like 18 days of sun a year? You get an A. Which natural hazard is caused by weather? Flooding apples or volcanic eruption? What? I love how now we're at the point where like global whatevering is getting so bad that we're going to be bludgeoned to death by a hurricane of fruit. On the plus side, this would solve world hunger. So A plus, indicate the region where California is located in here. I mean, she's right. California is roughly in here. I can't imagine a freaking school test that's like this though. She could have made her circle this big. They had somewhere over here. Whatever, you get an A. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Indicate the region where the US is located. She just circled the entire planet. The sad part is she's half right because like, she got half of the US. I want to give this girl an A+, plus, so I'm doing it. I don't care. Don't mind me just helping Jason Voorhees make a volcano. Wait a second, didn't I just... Didn't I just help you? Are they giving out hockey masks in the parking lot? Okay, I want to take the opportunity to mention, I, I wasn't wrong. It was the same kid. It appears, Mr. Liam, that you've been leading two lives. Which one is a famous classical musician? Britney Spears, Ozzy Osbourne, or Mozart? To be fair, it's 2021 right now, so Ozzy Osbourne might be considered classical. He's the man, I'm giving him an A. One day has 23 hours. Where the hell did the other hour go? I also don't know what planet I'm on, so it's possible that this place where these children are all learning how to be psychos is in fact a 23 hour planet. Yeah, why not? I gave you an egg to protect and your egg hatched a dinosaur. Your egg hatched an extinct species. How can I fail this kid? Well, I gave my students a chicken egg and they came back with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Welcome to school. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Great Papers. Please, till next time, stay foxy, much love.